Where are you, Syndicate? We're Syndicate hunting. I'll take that regal orb, though. Oh, Einhar! Oh, that's right, I was gonna do Einhar missions. Well, we'll do it after this map, I'll try and remember. I probably have a few now. There's three beasts for you there, Einhar. Here's our Syndicate. It's transport. Got some friends joining. I'm gonna hang out over here for a sec. Did they stop standing on top of each other? Is it just one there? In the dirt, worm. Maybe it was just one. <laughs> yes. Oh no, <laughs> there is two there, at least. <laughs> yes. Yes. Breach splinters, sure. Gruesome. That was vivid. Quality modifying currency. Create a new friendship. Leo gets a job. I'm going That's to good. Kill you, Giannis. And I'll do Einhar's beasts here. Because how could we refuse Einhar? Never could we. Nice. Smashing it. Let's uh do some Einhar. Action packed! Currency. Fusing. Create a unique mace or scepter. Create a unique map. Oh, nice. Create an imprint of a magic item. Yeah. So if you hit like a double tier one, you can create a uh, create an imprint of it so you can revert back to it. I assume that's like a an imprint as in like a, um, what are they called? Eternal orbs back in the day. Corrupt an armor or weapon to 30 quality. Okay, let's create a unique map. Ooh, to the first ones, you are worthy Ow. Probably should have done a little bit more setup, get my golem and brands and stuff out. The ritual is complete. Maelstrom of Chaos. Any opportunity you get to get unique map completion, even if the map itself is not particularly strong, it's uh good to get that one. Good to get that uh, map completion done. Create a unique scepter, hold on. The first ones are watching survivor. Don't disappoint them. First ones are watching. You are truly a survivor. An axiom perpeton. Uh create some fusings. The first ones are watching survival. Don't disappoint them. Nice. Well, it's only one fusing. <laughs> I thought it'd be like a few fusings. Just one fusing. So cute. So cute. Is the split an item uh, best area craft still good? I presume so. Good luck with your map. Uh, it hasn't changed in any way, has it? I know of. You're immune to ailments while focused. Well, nice. I'll unlock it. Glad you made it back. I'm gonna unlock all the lists Stay just safe. so I can see the new crafting menu in all of its glory. In all of its glorious glory. Um, all right, I thought I'd have a bit more Ironheart stuff. Not as much as I thought. Let's do Maelstrom of Chaos. This is an old school map. It's named after Path of Exile's original endgame before maps and the way before Atlas, before even maps were a thing. The endgame of Path of Exile was just one one kind of zone effectively called Maelstrom of Chaos. And uh, it was a bit pretty different game then. A bit slow by today's standards. But this Maelstrom of Chaos uh, was pretty good a while, like back in the day for like magic finding. But uh, these days, nah. It's kind of a meh map, just run it. Don't worry about it too much. It reflects curses to you, so if you curse enemies with an actual direct curse application, you'll get cursed yourself. Um, but I, uh, I'm i using Blasphemy, which can't be reflected, so... Blasphemy is safe. And in theory, a bunch of extra rares and uniques drop here, but... Mm, it's nothing super crazy these by today's standards. When I'm ready, and not before. It was a better game? Ooh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that. I think Path of Exile is the best game it's ever been. As it's ever been. It's the best game that it has been in its history. I have some nostalgia for some old aspects of Path of Exile, but for the most part, I think this is... Game is... This is Path of Exile at its best. Even if there are some degenerate aspects to the game, sure. I still think it's at its best. Didn't even get a unique, man. 
Father of Exile peaked during the Battle Royale event? Okay, I'll agree to that. <laughs> Fair enough, I'll agree to that. Can't You can't beat Path of Exile in, when it's it peaked at Battle Royale. Unless they release a new Battle Royale mode, they can't get back to that. They can't get back to that level ever. No matter how many new acts they add, they could add 20 new acts. It still won't be a Battle Royale game. You got a row of dinner? I did too. I didn't get many row of dinners. Some people got lots of row of dinners. I got a couple. That was fun though. Maelstrom of Chaos is also only a level 68 zone. Wow, it is. Yeah, got nerfed. Damn. Where is it even on the Atlas now? Oh yeah, wow, it's <laughs> it's right off a toll. Okay, that's cute. The How unique map I got then was pretty unlucky from the bestiary craft, but like the lowest unique map I possibly could have gotten. I guess for level 68, that's not that bad. Like if you're like, if you do your first tier one map and one of those drops and you do it, that's not bad. Um, okay, we can ditch some of these. This needs to be re-rolled. All right, let's go. All right, 49%. Our next shape of the thing is on Haunted Mansion. Okay, I'm trying to remember that. Twenty new acts confirmed. In 10.00. 10.00 will be 40 new acts in Path of Exile. Did you hear that? 80 new acts are coming. Crazy how they're implementing 160 new acts. Insane. What was Battle Royale like, Mister? It was it was pretty damn fun. Like, if it was gonna run for any longer than like the two days that it ran, um, they they definitely needed to make some changes. Like, the balance was terrible. Um, like Split Arrow and like a couple, just a very small number of skills were really dominating. Split Arrow, for example, is insanely good. Um, and they'd want to like do if they were running it as a regular thing, they'd want it to like have some other things they could change and alter over time keep it interesting and fresh but it was really fun it was really fun i thought it was a really unique a unique kind of interesting take on like battle royale as well as a genre like i've not seen or played a battle royale game like it what the hell weird one of them like ran away hit that fled was here but i don't know where they are now my family name was Transportation Intelligence. With... Yes. Time Twelve. Not bad. Espionage Array. Espionage et toi. When I'm ready, I'm not ready. Hit that fled, probably fled. Ah, <laughs> oh, you're not wrong. I'm gonna hit, kill this Hillock poser. You're not even the real Hillock. You're not my real dad. We have a beast there, it's done. Got a wagon. Got interventions kicking in. Nice. A ruckus? Did he say ruckus league? <laughs> the long, the long uh, alluded to ruckus league. Leo, transportation intelligence. Leo and Rin become rivals. Rin plus one rank to Rin. Um. If it's information, you're hmm. I'm gonna play around with some more rivalries. Rin's rivals with three people. Rin's rivals with all of her underlings. It's a hostile work environment for sure. <laughs> that right there, my friends, is a hostile work environment. <laughs> you think I didn't expect to betray? I'm ill fit I'm for this. Rival rivalries. Nah, you can stay there. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> he was like dead. He was on one hit point, just rolling. He didn't want to die until the animation of the roll completed. Just give me, just give me some maps, just random ones. Don't really care. Probably not ones that like are super awkward to run through. Uh, alleyways is fine. Okay. I didn't see any alley reflect in there. Nope, okay, we good. Let's keep progressing it. I think we're setting things up pretty quickly. 
Hello, Gravitius. Oh, and more. And friends. Tora, where will you go? Intervention? No, we want Tora in uh, research, I'm pretty sure. Intervention is just Harbinger Scarabs. One rank to Gravitius. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Violence is part of the natural Four intervention savage. intelligence. I appreciate it. When I'm ready, I'm not before. My Val cold snap, then we'll go. There's a breach up there. I have to remember before I just leave the map. And the damage on the Val cold snap is actually insane. I like drop a vortex on there, thinking it's a dot. It's a slowish dot, so I'm not going to kill them, so I better drop a vortex. But they just die anyway, way before that. Oh, they're all over in this room. No, they teleported. <laughs> Well, make up your mind, would you like, please? Vagan? Damn, this game. Tora moves to research. Dream! Exposing gems to combat. Really necessary? Exile, you're taking all of this far too personally. But I right. must confess, I'd... I will be cruel in my methods. Research in, seems to be the rarest for me. So I think getting intelligence whenever I can is going to be handy. No, I'm all done. I'm all done with my overlap. Thanks, though. I'm all done. What? I can't. <laughs> what, am I do what am I doing? I'm like trying to sell things to the map device. <laughs> that doesn't work at all. Not even slightly. I should move Zana over here. I need a vendor near the. Honestly, my vendor and stash tab should and stash should be near the map device. So much more convenient. There's a high chair there. I can put, put Zana in the high chair. <laughs> no. I think I'll just put it down here. Might makes right. Tora ranks. Yes. We want Tora ranks. Haku. Owning item condition. I kind of want Haku ranks too. Let's rank, rank them all up. And Jorgen is... What's Jorgen doing right now? Just chilling here, channeling the first ones. I've seen your strength. Jorgen and Helix trusted. Take from me what you will. Now's a good time for us to interrogate him. He'll come back out of rank two. We want the um, oh, rip Alk. <laughs> He'll come back out with uh, still two ranks, and we'll be able to rank him up again before we do that. Am I lagging my hideout as well? Glad you a made it back. I need June over here too now. If I'm going to commit to this convenience, I need June Stay over here too. Fifty percent more plays as well equals more drops. For something like that, I don't know because that's not something that just drops normally. You don't have to kind of go out of your way for that one, unless like unless you get lucky with one of the syndicate things that just drops a random unique from old stuff. Wow, I keep getting research. Hell yes. Wow. If I get Tora, rank 3, and the Master of Research, I can take a quality to empower from level 2 to 3 instantly. Because I'll get two benches. Yes. I'm pretty sure. Damn it, they're on top of each other. That's cool. Tora was on top at least. I'll betray... She's going to betray Leo. Where's Leo? Oh, over here. What? That's fine. I'll tell you. She can tell me everything she knows about Leo. Look at all the hostility going. Ooh, I'm making this. Bloody I'm making this one so hostile. Fagan so moves to transportation. Leo moves to research. You don't need to kick a man while he's down. Wait, Leo is good on research. Out plan B. Dude, we're getting all the sick opportunities here. Re Leo's research is the um, exalting one. Well, we're gonna Next time you see me, I'll be a new man. With a new plan. We have to get him to rank 3, though. Oh, shit, man. This is going well, guys. 800 million XP. I did it myself. Yeah, so if you've got two benches, that's enough to get you to from rank 2 to 3, right? Level 2 to 3 on an empower. Pretty spicy. 
How often are you using scarabs on maps? On lower tier maps, like l white and yellow maps, only crappy scarabs that are not really worth anything. All the good ones I'm saving for red maps. If there was like a divination card scarab and you there was a certain map you wanted a specific divination card from, then that would be fine to use regardless of what tier it is. But the other stuff like breaches and that, you want to use on higher tier maps for sure. Those are things for us to sustain our red map pool with. Or like, you know, increase the value of our red maps. Otherwise, it kind of just be wasting them really. Divination and Scarab is good on low tier. Yeah, yeah, because it only really cares about the fact whether there's a good divination cards on the map or not. <laughs> and if you are committing to using div a good divination Scarab on a lower tier map, then at that point I might be like, oh, okay, well now I'm willing to put a Breach Scarab on there because that's going to like, they're going to multiply together effectively, right? You know, you're increasing your drop rate of divination cards and you're adding a bunch of extra monsters that they can drop from. So you're getting extra value out of each of them. And you might just Don't try anything stupid, Corel. Ranks must be earned. Hmm, who's better? Smuggling essences? It. Transporting it. breach splinters. Splinters are better. If that fled and Korra become it. rivals. Hey, this rivalry it. stuff's actually kind of going interestingly. We already we just got a safe house as well. <laughs> Pog. How is this safe house though? Not amazing. I think I'm happy to just run this, though. Get it knocked over. It's not a particularly amazing one, but we'll get it knocked over. That. Thank you very much. Hmm, still getting a little lag tonight. Oh, jeez. Oh my god, this lag. <laughs> wow. Servers are dying. Oh my god, look at the latency spike chart. Oh, damn. Strongbox Scarab, too. That'd be a good combo with Divination Scarab. Strongbox Scarab. Imagine if you got a Diviner's box in a map that you'd put a Divination Scarab on. <laughs> so you get like the big the big multiplier on the Diviner's box. That could be pretty insane. We are born leaders. You? You were born to serve us. I spy a new twin. Careful, Exile. You might just my escape my flames. You fight for a lot of twins. Go home. That was a lot. Only two mastermind intelligence per turn because Rin's only rank I'll one. Tell you what I want to tell you. Brandis took over. Okay, let's see what we get. I don't think we'll get a lot from this, but maybe a few little bits and pieces. Yeah, just a couple splinters. That was rank one, so. Wonder what rank three looks like. Just a heap of splinters? An actual breach stone, maybe? <laughs> Bit of quality currency, rank one. The boss was maps, but she was rank two, so she at least gets two boxes. A couple maps. Can't complain. Actually, some decent tier ones for what I've unlocked so far. Goulash lols. Thank you for the Twitch Prime sub, mate. Appreciate the support. Some essences. Is there another room? No, that's it. Yeah, not bad. Kind of cute for how quickly I knocked that over. Didn't really put any particular efforts towards stacking it up. Cool June, wins. can you unveil this, please? Oh, I want the cold dot upgraded as much as possible. Blessings. An aura bot can help scale up the damage of this character? Not a lot. Unless they have some like raw damage scaling things. A lot of aura bots add a lot of flat damage. And this doesn't really deal any flat damage. It's not that's not a major part of the damage of this build, so. You wouldn't gain much offensive value from an aura bot. Oh, a bit, probably. Most most aura bots have some stuff that just scales your damage a bit. Like scales any damage. 
But yeah, if you're like running like Wrath, Anger, and Hatred and stuff like that, you're not really going to get much out of it. You gonna try Guardians at some point? Yeah, totally. Totally. Once I get there. I'm keen to try this character against uh, endgame bosses for sure. Because I that was one of my things, I was like, I didn't think this would be good against it when I was like planning the builds. But now that I've been playing it, I'm starting to think that maybe it'll actually be alright. Drop a map. Here we go. Take this as your reward. And the strong gets Holy stronger. shit, yeah, tier eleven. Wow, that's way beyond what I have. <laughs> I think I've, got, I've unlocked a tier 7, that's the highest I've got. I mean, dropped a tier 11. That's pretty damn good. Yeah, the dropper map bargain seems like it's really nice. It doesn't seem to be caring about uh, drop restrictions, or it's intentionally boosted. And you're not always gonna not always gonna win on the tiny trials. But they are pretty good, though. The, po the possibility is there. Damn it, I'm full, aren't I? I am full. Nico, mate. I guess I gotta go do some builds. Hmm, a breach. Nice. It's right on the edge, unfortunate. Oh, it's exophiage. As Q Dog puts it. Zoffs is good even though Zoffs is one of the three common ones because uh, the amulet from Zoffs is like super, super good, like crazy good. Zoffs something, I can't remember what it's called. Zoffs amulet. He's crazy good. Zoff's blood, that's the one. Yeah, it's insanely good. And it's probably only going to be more popular with uh, a lot of people playing like Armageddon brand. Oh wait, I want some of those. I need, I need these for quality and gear because I keep running out, and uh, for upgrading into glass blowers, bubbles to quality glasses too. Do an encounter in here? I don't think so. Oh, I don't want this. Oh, no. Well, I'm stuck in the boss fight now. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know. Zombies and stuff. Portal out? Yeah, but then I can't have gotten back into the map, but no, I don't think I've done my syndicate encounter yet. Unless I did it and forgot. Did I already do it in here? Hmm. Maybe I did. Speaking of Zoss blog, I got one from a, from a regular map breach last night. Sold it for 4.5 exalts. Wow, damn. Oh, here it is. Hello. Man, I'm getting a lot of researchers this time. Last syndicate, I... It, I only ever did one research safe house because it took me that long to get them, even though I did like five of each of the others. But I've gotten tons of researchers this time. Just, probably just RNG. But I'm starting to put my tinfoil hat on. I'm starting to uncrinkle my tinfoil hat so I can recrinkle it and put it back on my head. Getting suspicious. Good, clean violence. Fun for the whole family. Is it just you in here? Even better with a weapon than with words. You won. Rin so moves to research, and Rin and Leo become the neutral. Still going strong. Want to really mm. hit us where it Rin hurts. doesn't have a job currently, so that's good. Don't know about you, but I'm excited for the next round. <laughs> it looked like I took his portal. <laughs> I followed him through the portal. Like that one movie where the, where the guy can teleport, and the guys jump through the portal with them. And they fight across like multiple different continents. All in the one fight scene. You know that movie. <laughs> I'll give mad credit to anyone if someone knows what I'm talking about from that vague description. <laughs> yeah, it's my RNG seed. A Is it jumper? Probably jumper. <laughs> there we go. Well done, chat. You guys nailed it. Holy shit. I thought I, thought I was being way too obscure. <laughs> well done. Well played, chat. Mad credit to all ye. Or Doctor Stay Strange. Yeah, I guess that as well. <laughs> I guess that also works. 
That wasn't what I was talking about, though. Precinct. Do I have you done? I do. Sweet. Reflect elemental damage. All right, keep it coming. Keep it coming. Need a map. Research is looking like it could end up being pretty good, guys. We got Tor in there. I like. Uh, actually, I don't know what Haku does in there. Testing implicit item limits. That's the one we want. But we want him rank three. So I hope I can get him rank three before we uh, before we run that one. I might even hold off to get him rank three because he's just gonna exalt something for me. So. Like I could even exalt a jewel, which is not usually something you would bring yourself to do. Testing item implicit rerolls the implicit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it based on his rank. Rank one is a, a blessed orb on the implicit. Rank two is a divine orb, and rank three is an exalted orb. Like he does that same effect. Haku rank is Leo here. Leo, get the rank, Ugh. mate. Leo the rank. Rian, we might be able to make a bargain with. Haku is going to remove Rian. I don't want. I don't want Rian removed. The syndicate does not follow the Kadui way. I'm going to interrogate Haku. <laughs> Ooh, free glass balls, Bob. Bob, although I probably just could have kept that for a later character, to be honest. <laughs> Oh, we're getting close. So we've got Leo and Tora, the two, like, ideal research people. Two of the best in research. Almost ready to go. Nice. If I was going to do a bleed build, would it be better doing one hand or two hand as a main hand? Uh, really either. It depends on how how else you want to build, build in what other ways. Bleed, um... Bleed is mostly supplemental. Like, in theory, bleed, because it's limited in how many applications you can have of it. Um, is better with a two-hander, but it doesn't really matter because bleed is mostly a supplemental thing anyway. So bleed can be done on one hand is just fine. The best thing about bleed is bleed explosions, really, from Hemophilia and, and or Gladiator. Not that Gladiator is very good right now. How would you do a bleed build? No. Yeah, I wouldn't do a bleed build, but I would put bleed on a fifth character. That's fine. Like I would have bleed as a supplemental thing on a. Uh, his character. Usually just to like enable some extra effect or create bleed explosions or just as like a basic straight damage multiplier. Like oh because of the bleeds that I've got going on I'm doing like you know 30% more damage than I would be doing. Why don't you replace Golem for Orb of Storms? I've replaced it for Stormbrand. I think Stormbrand is better than Orb of Storms. It lasts longer, it jumps around. And it hits just as fast, if not faster. I don't know which is actually faster. But I think Stormbrand works better. Be no Stormbrand is the new Orb of Storms. Vagan and Fled. Like the Phoenix, one plus rank to Coral. We'll rise once more. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Either Fled moves to Transportation, one plus rank to him. Yeah. <laughs> Was that really there. Exile? You're taking Vagan and Tora all of friends. Oh, I'm yeah, a sure. man of my word. Okay, Vagan. My word. Keeping those maps rolling. Just like blasting through like I've been doing just for the syndicate encounters. I'm occasionally getting uh Well. I'm getting maps like frequently enough to replace the ones that I'm doing, even though I'm not fully completing them. Whoa. One eighth of a poor joys. That's actually pretty good. Poor Joys is a pretty, pretty spicy, unique map. Poor Joys is probably the unique map that's like weathered the test of time better than any other unique map. Just because it's like, oh yeah, Hello. here's a huge amount of extra experience and um, it's a massive map and uh, it's got good divination cards. So by virtue of those things, it does all right. Is it worth it to do the Chaos Regal recipe? Yes, it absolutely is. I think it's worth it to do the Chaos Recipe for, for the vast majority of people. It's just that I've played so much Path of Takes On, done so many Chaos Recipes that I cannot be bothered. And I get enough uh, money without doing it. I don't really need to worry about it. Much later in the league, it's something you'll probably want to taper off. But early in the league, it's super worth it. Borjoz used to be scarier back? Yes, it did used to be. <laughs> Can still be scary, kind of. It's still a pretty big damage multiplier on there, depending on if there's anything else going on. Anything else added to it, like by League Mechanics, for example. So imagine um, Intervention Haku pops out with his 150 
like 250% increased damage or whatever it is that Poor Joyce gives him and he does his hammer wallop. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. So, it could be pretty scary. Softcore or hardcore? I'm playing softcore this league. And um, until such time as we do something like a private league in hardcore or solo self found or something like that, you know? Soft goal for the start though. Don't you have like a 40 minute video of you clearing poor draws? Yeah, way back in the day. It was my EK Arctic Armor Mind Never Matter build. <laughs> um, clearing poor, poor draws in 40 minutes. Top tier clear speeds. Mm -hmm. For the time, not that bad, because I could survive it. I actually lived through it. That, that was the main achievement then. Oh, the Syndicate guys don't spawn in there? Oh, that's lucky then. That's lucky then. Please don't play the crab video. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I just did Maelstrom Storm of Chaos. That's right. And they didn't appear in there. So it looks like they don't appear in unique maps. Probably, probably for the best for situations like that. <laughs>